one of the first things I tried uh, when I was healing, trying to heal the um, metabolic issues that I had to do with the skin and the gut, histamine issues and eczema and all that sort of stuff, um, was naturally you, you look and you find an appropriate diet. So uh, no gluten diet or low histamine. That was one of the couple of the first ones that I tried. Um, paleo, moving on to, you know, paleo less this, paleo plus that. Then I went to carnivore, uh, low fat, car like high protein, moderate fat carnivore, high fat carnivore, just standard keto, high fat keto, therapeutic keto. Um, I went vegan for about 11 months at one point and I tried raw vegan, tried all the fasting I could do. I've done, you know, a five day dry fast, two week, two week, um, 14 day water fast. I've done, did OMADs for probably over a year straight with many 48s thrown in there weekly, fortnightly. And what I've learned is that at the end of the journey, the structure has to be dropped. So, because any any time I would go on this diet, I would identify with the diet. I am now on this diet. This this diet, um, this diet is the best diet, and I can only eat the, these specific foods. The vegan one tends to do that the most because it has the emotions behind it. You're not eating animals and all that. So the strict carnivore, to be honest, it's just the opposite side of veganism where all plants are bad and the only thing is meat is the only good thing. The most healing that I've ever got was when I stopped trying to be something and just started listening to my body. The, the body will tell you how to heal. We don't have to use our minds. We don't have to use science or doctors or whatever. You don't need to listen to anything except for your own body. And as long as your biomarkers are clear, as long as after you eat, you don't get bloated, uh, you don't get heart palpitations, your skin starts to clear up, you get good sleep, you have good energy, your libido is high. As long as the foods that you eat aren't causing effects, you are healing. So your body will tell you what you can't eat. At this point, all I'm really eating is meat and fruit. Uh, generally, red meat and uh, blueberries. And if I do a lot of exercise in a day, I'll, I'll eat some potato. And I'm definitely feeling better than I have for many years. You can see that, that the healing is happening in a sense that, that the skin is better. Uh, you know, everything just gets better when you eat a diet that your body doesn't react to. And from what I've seen from other people, if you keep this consistent for long enough, three months to up to a year, I believe it, it, it tends to heal the issues and you can start eating a wider range of, of things. But yeah, it, it it is, I'm sort of, it's like in a lot of things, you need structure at the beginning in order to learn. But then in the end, you lose the structure and it becomes instinctive. And, and that's kind of kind of what happened to me in terms of all the diets. And now I just, I mean, some of the stuff I do doesn't make sense, but I mean, I'll, I feel the best when I eat all the meat. It's about a kilo or so of high fat meat at about 12 to 2 p.m. And then I'll wait a few hours and eat a, a fair amount of blueberries and I tend to sleep the best and feel the best when I eat like that. It doesn't make any sense why that would work. There's no logic in it. There's no diet in it. It's not some thing. It's just what my body says to do. Your body might say you can only eat apples or whatever. And yeah, that that's that's really... I haven't posted in a while, but mainly because I've just been... I would just be talking about the same stuff. And yeah, it's it's a long journey, the healing journey. But 
I think in all healing, emotional and physical, it comes down to being with the body and listening to it and learning how to do that 